This is Troy, Kilo Foxtrot 7, Sierra Echo Yankee. And today we're going to review a TID radio. TID radio sent me this uh, radio to review. It's a TDH8 ham. And uh, I have had it out of the box already, but I figured I'd kind of show how it came originally. So it came with uh, a nice, fairly large user, user manual. Uh, this little card that shows for customer service and where to get download user manual, program software, etc. Uh, it came with the battery, the radio, of course, a USB cable and charger, the a little a charging dock, the belt clip, and a little lanyard. All right, so figured I'd cover some of the features that I like about this radio. Um, one is the uh, USB-C charging. Um, you can charge this with USB-C, a little plug on the battery, uh, plus uh, you have the charging dock that plugs in the USB port in the back. What I like about that is you can uh, charge that in your vehicle or, um, you know, you have the option of using like a solar panel or something. Uh, one of the other things I like about it also is uh, the case seems to be fairly rugged and, you know, it's got a good, uh, you know, feel to it on how it holds. Very similar to the uh, Yezu FT5B, you know, it's got uh, kind of a bulkiness to it. The uh, other feature I like about it is the uh, Bluetooth programming. And I'll just show a quick clip here on how to uh, do that with uh, an iPhone app. Uh, you'll need to get this app right here. So the first thing you want to do is go to program on the app. And then on the radio, you want to push the BL button for turning the Bluetooth on. And you'll see the little Bluetooth emblem pop up. Then on the app, you hit connect Bluetooth and you will see the device pop up. You just turn that on and it'll connect. And then once you have that, you can hit select model and you want TID radio, TDH8 ham, and then uh, read the radio and it will download everything off the radio into your app. And then once you have that, you can make all your changes. Um, you can go to what channel you want to add. Uh, you can come in here, you can punch in frequency. Uh, if you're doing repeater, you can add shifts, you can name it. And then you can change any functions. So like the squelch level, lights, the light on the screen, um, what the keys do, and then once you're done with that, you just hit write, and it will write everything back to the radio. So the radio is advertised as 10 watts on 2 meters and 70 centimeters. Um, I did check it real quick with just a, a little meter that I have here, and I did get pretty much 10 watts. I mean, the meter was right up, the meter went right up to about 10 watts on both uh, 2 meter and 70 centimeters on both the call-in frequencies. Now, um, I don't have the equipment to check the spectrum purity, but if you want to dive in more of that technical, I would suggest going over to the Smoking Ape or Ham Radio Dude. Uh, they have some very in-depth videos on how to um, check that and how they checked it and what they got. So I have it up here can sit next to a Bofane. You can see it's quite a bit bigger radio um, from just playing with it here. Uh, I have found that this radio is by far better than a Bofane. I 
wouldn't recommend a Bofane for anybody unless you just want something to throw in your car. So I just did a quick test of transmitting audio between the FT5 and the TID radio, and uh, I'll play that here for you. This is KF7SEY. We're testing on a TID radio, and we're seeing how it sounds. KF7SEY. This is KF7SEY transmitting with the TID radio to an FT5D. Seeing how the audio sounds, KF7SEY. Okay, so I'm planning on uh, taking this out and actually doing a soda activation with it. I want to put it in a real world scenario of what this radio can do. I plan on uh, using a Slim Jim roll up antenna and we'll run it at the 10 watts and see what we can do. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Kilo, Foxtrot 7, Sierra Echo Inky calling CQ for summits on the air. CQ, CQ, CQ. Kilo, Foxtrot 7, Sierra Echo Inky, KF7, SEY, summits on the air. Kilo, Kilo 7, Kilo Foxtrot Tango, uh, the summits on the air station, if you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, what was the call sign again? This is Kilo Foxtrot 7, Sierra Echo Yankee. Yes, yeah, Kilo Kilo 7, Kilo Foxtrot Tango. Kilo Kilo 7, Kilo Foxtrot Tango. You're 5'9 here up on the summit of uh, Fano Peak. QSL? Yeah, roger that. Um... Yeah, I'm not, no, I guess I'm not too far away from where you are. I'm, uh, if you look on a map, I'm over by, it's called Trask Summit. So, yeah, I don't think too far away, but yeah, you're coming in at about a 5.57. Five, five, QSL, the 5.7, yeah, I know where Trask Mountain is. Yeah, that's a good, good jump over there. So, uh, thanks for the coming back to my call, 73. And yeah, no worries, have fun out there, 73. Number zero, Mike, Alpha, Papa, Albany. Kilo November Zero, Mike Alpha Papa, you're 5'9 up here, 5'9. Uh, Kilo Foxtrot 7, Sierra Echo Yankee, I've got you in and out, in and out. I'd give you a 4'4, four, four, 44, over in Albany, over. Kilo Foxtrot 7, Sierra Echo Yankee, 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 Kilo Foxtrot Uh, summit to summit, go ahead. Whiskey Juliet 7 Victor, this is Kilo Foxtrot 7, Sierra Echo Yankee for summit to summit. You're about a 5 1 here, probably a 5 1. QSL to 013, uh, mine is Charlie Charlie 142, that's Charlie Charlie 142, QSL. F7 SEY from K7 JD, Kilo 7 Juliet Delta, good morning. K7 JD, uh, good morning, you're a 59, strong 59 up here on Fano Peak, where are you located? Uh, sure, 5 you're also 59, I'm located in the Independence. Um, and I uh, am not familiar with that peak. Would you tell me where you are in relation to uh, any big city or even Independence? Well, I'm about west of Independence in the coast range here, uh, about 10 miles outside of Fall City, west of Fall City. Over. Okay, that makes uh, sense. Yeah, that should be an easy haul because we can see the coast range uh, from this QTH. And so I got my four contacts I need for the activation. Radio performed uh, as expected. I don't see any issues with it. Not getting any kind of uh, zapping or anything from the battery that I've read from previous versions. Um, audio sounds great. It's windy up here and I can hear just fine. So um, I think this would be a great handheld for somebody who's maybe starting out or uh, everyday carry. Um, it works for summits on the air. I, I think uh, I'm using the Slim Jim antenna 
I think if you hook it up to a small Yagi, you would even perform even better. So thanks for watching, 73.